use quantum neurology every day in the practice. Um, the baby, of course, gets quantum neurology. She was getting quantum neurology extremely early on, and she continues to. So it's fun to to do the exercises and do the things with her and, and watch her nervous system continue to thrive and develop. But it's a, it's a real gift, quantum neurology, and you can really start to tackle things that don't respond to traditional chiropractic techniques that we learned in school. And I agree with Dr. Gonzalez. It really delivers the promise of chiropractic, especially if you're a doctor that goes to one of the more straight schools where you're kind of hammered on that the nervous system controls everything and we're not joint docs, we're nervous system docs. Okay, that's fine, but why don't you give us some more tools to really get in there and help the nervous system. And quantum neurology does that beautifully. So I feel very blessed that I've been able to take this technique and run with it, and I, we really need a lot more docs out there doing quantum neurology. I'm constantly getting calls from patients around the country and out of the country um, because they've heard about my work with autism or Lyme, and uh, they fly out, but really they need people in their town, in their community doing the work so that they can continue with follow-up care, and we need to get this care in the hands of more people. So I really hope by listening to this we'll get more doctors trained and on board and we can really make a movement in health and wellness in our world. So that's all I've got for you. Wow, Elizabeth, thank you so much for sharing that, and we truly appreciate your time. I know it's uh, hard to get a hold of you because of your child and everything, and and, uh, appreciate you there. And thank you so much for taking the the lead on working with the autism spectrum community and the chronic illness community. Uh, When when early on in, in my career teaching this work, uh, you know, Dr. Elizabeth was the first one who was really dealing with uh, a large population of, of uh, chronic illness and autism spectrum, and she really challenged me to, to push quantum neurology and to expand it into helping this community. So thank you for, for doing that, and thank you for taking that on. Uh, the next person I'd like to, to introduce, another very close friend of mine, uh, Dr. Ed Chauvin. Uh, he's a quantum neurologist out of Abbeville, Louisiana. Now, uh, Dr. Elizabeth mentioned how important it is to, that we need more quantum neurologists around uh, the United States and the world. We are expanding around the world. And the reason, one of the reasons is because we need care for ourselves. Uh, Dr. Ed Chauvin, on April 1st of uh, 2007, he had a uh, severe brain aneurysm. And uh, I was fortunate enough to be able to see him at that time. And uh, within four days after his surgery, he, uh, I'm sorry, I saw him four days after his surgery, and within, I believe, 11 days, he was able to walk out of that hospital with zero neurological deficits. So we are truly blessed to have him here with us to share his personal story as well as what his, he, he's been doing with this work. Uh, because of his personal uh, healing, he's, he's made a full recovery himself. He's also helping other people with spinal cord injuries, brain injuries, and uh, and regular people as well uh, heal their bodies and recover their nervous systems. So uh, I'll let Dr. Ed share the exciting stories of the cases he's working with. Uh, Dr. Ed, are you there, please? Uh, yes, George. Thank you for that introduction. Uh, listen, I thank God for being on the phone call with such wonderful doctors, with Dave and Elizabeth and um, Dr. Shum, David Shum, and yourself, George, because... I mean, when we share these stories, it becomes very obvious to me that each person that George has trained is seeing miracles every day in their practices. We we are able to go on with these stories forever and ever and ever. And I just, I thank God because, you know, yes, um, the surgeon who was a good friend of mine saved my life. But I was wondering what my life would be like if quantum neurology hadn't rebooted every nerve in my body because I'm functioning perfect. I, I swim uh, probably three or four miles a week. I'm in real good shape. I, I do everything I want to. I enjoy life. And I thank George for introducing me to quantum neurology. I've been practicing about 30 years now. And probably the last eight to nine years I've been practicing quantum neurology. And i got to tell you, it is chiropractic in the 21st century. I mean, it is exactly what we wanted to do 
with the adjustment, but were never able to do until you added the quantum neurology to it. Um, I have seen people uh, with autism become perfectly normal. One little boy in particular um, couldn't talk. He had all kinds of neurological deficits. We just got invited to go to a play uh, where he was in this play, um, and he was Chip, the cup in... um, um, I'm trying to remember the the name of the movie, but anyway, um, he performed, he sang, he danced, he did everything he was supposed to do, and it just becomes amazing to think that God has used us to get him to that point. Um, I have five people who were paralyzed for over 12 years who are now walking in my office, and... I'm very thankful for that. I mean, they don't walk as good as you and I would walk, but when they first saw them, they couldn't move anything. So it's a big victory to see those type of people get up and walk for a change. So I just want to thank George for teaching us this great technique. I wish every chiropractor would take at least one of his courses just to see the miracles that they could do the next day in their own offices using this technique. So, George, thank you so much. I appreciate you, you know, letting me be part of this call. And I'll turn it back over to you. Thank you so much, Ed. I, I really appreciate you sharing that. And for those people that may not be familiar with nervous system damage, uh, traditional neurology dictates that the maximum improvement for a person with a nervous system damage, that's brain injury, spinal cord injury, or otherwise, uh, is six months. So they're, they're expected to reach maximum improvement after six months. I can't tell you how many patients I've heard say that their doctors told them to stop doing rehabilitation because after six months it doesn't matter anymore. Now, thankfully, the cases that Dr. Ed is talking about, he has a one patient who's quadriplegic, paralyzed from the neck down, and she was paralyzed that way for 12 years in her wheelchair, and Dr. Chauvin um, is, has her walking now with the assistance of a machine that carries her body weight. Another, do, another patient, uh, Roger Sims, uh, he's, he's uh, been in a wheelchair for 21 years, and under Dr. Chauvin's care, under one year of his care, he's now walking with mild assistance. So it's truly remarkable what the nervous system is capable of doing. And at the hands of somebody who understands these concepts, the concepts that I've taught to each of these doctors, it's truly powerful. Uh, They each are taking this work beyond what I personally could do myself, and that's what what really makes it exciting for me. And one of the, the last doctor we have on the call today, another good friend of mine, he has expanded concepts of quantum neurology into the endocrinology field as well as other areas. Um, he is, you know, just has some exciting ways of, of exploring these concepts and, and talking about quantum neurology. I'd love to have you hear uh, his story and uh, how he found quantum neurology and what it's doing for him. So my friend, Dr. Chris Cormier. Thank you so much, Dr. Gonzalez, for, for having me on a call today. And, um, you know, for those of you listening, uh, you might hear a lot of the stuff these doctors have talked about and and think maybe like I thought the first time I got introduced by the guy that was just on this call, Dr. Ed Chauvin. Uh, when he first introduced me to this technique and told me about it, I kind of rolled my eyes and thought, uh, you know, this is probably one of these hokey pokey techniques, maybe with no scientific merit. 